Hey, what's happening? It's Nick with Lone Star Boot Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at some full quill ostrich boots from Blackjack. Now, Blackjack is a small family run company located in El Paso, Texas. The owner actually worked for Lucchese for several years before he started Blackjack. And currently, they have about 40 employees with a total of 300 years in boot making experience. Now these boots are 100% leather and they are completely handmade in El Paso, Texas. There are no fillers, no plastic, nothing like that. It's all leather from the top to the bottom. And it's rare these days to find completely handmade boots and that are made in the USA. Now these boots carry a one year warranty for manufacturer and leather defects. And they can be resold over and over and over again. And you can also send them back to Blackjack if they've gotten old or worn or they need new soles and they can totally refurbish them for you and make them look brand new. Now they do offer custom boots where the customer can pick their toe shape, the heel height, the leather, how tall the tops are, the stitch pattern, everything. They even offer full custom touches such as initials, brand name, logos, whatever you want. Now Blackjack does not sell directly to the customer. You would order these custom boots through one of their retailers. But that's also where you would purchase your off the shelf Blackjack boots. Now the way this video is going to go, I'm going to unbox them, give you my initial thoughts, then I'm going to try them on, tell you all about the comfort and how they feel. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to grade these on a scale from one to five in five different categories, which are exterior, interior, comfort, durability, and price. Then I give a bonus point for the intoxicating leather smell, coming to a grand total of 26 possible points. Now with all that said, what do you say we check these out? Okay, so first thing I want to show you is the box. It's a very cool box. It's solid black with their logo on it. Looks very classy. Now the first thing I notice when I open up the box is the intoxicating leather smell. These smell fantastic and as I mentioned before that's a really good indicator on the quality of the leathers that they're using. Now I ordered this in what they call the V-toe and it's like a cutter toe or similar to a seven toe from Lucchese squared off in the front and you can see on the side here where it's kind of angled back towards the sole. It's a really clean cool look. Now I love the color of this full quill ostrich. This is amazing. It's like a cigar brown but you can see all around the quills it's almost black. Really cool contrast. It's just an amazing color. It's got a nice sturdy heel counter. It's a single stitch welt and you can see on the top it's a natural color. On the sides it's a brown sole but on the top they left it a natural color. It's a really good look. It's got a nice stack leather heel with a nice thick heel cap on it. The stitch pattern on the tops is pretty simple design but it's really clean and classy looking. It goes with this boot really well. And it's done fantastic. There's no loose threads hanging out anywhere. It's what you would expect from a quality boot like this. It's got a little bit of cording right at the top of the shafts and it's got ostrich overlays on the pull tabs. Now these are made with a steel shank that is actually covered in leather, not a composite, not a rubber or cork or anything like that. Again, it's a 100% leather boot. There's no plastic rand on the heel counter. It's all leather. Now this looks to be about a one and five eighths inch walking heel, which goes really well with this boot. It's got an 11 inch top on it. Now on the bottom, it's got their logo right there on the foot and it's held together with lemon wood pegs. This boot is completely leather lined throughout. It's got exposed leather seams, but they're done really well. They're tied up against the side of the boot and I don't think they're gonna provide any discomfort. It's got a leather heel pad and it feels like it may have just a tiny bit of cushion in it. Not very much, but it does give a little bit. 
got a nice hard leather insole, which you know I love. It's gonna to form to your foot, and over time it's gonna be more comfortable than the boots you have with insoles, in my opinion. Okay, so now we've gone over all the features of the boot. Let's try these on. There's a bird's eye shot for you. All right, so these went on easy. They feel good. I really like them. They're snug across the top of my foot like it should be. Now, one thing I should mention is I told him I wore an 11 and he explained that in the Vito, they tend to run a little bit bigger. So he sent me a 10 and a half and they fit pretty good. I'm glad I didn't get an 11. They definitely would have been too big. I've got a nice little amount of heel slip. That hard leather insole feels great. I love the heel height on these. They feel really good. And I love the way they look. That, that full quill ostrich just looks awesome. That cigar color with the black quills. I don't have anything else even remotely close to that. So I'm pretty excited. Now, I'll be wearing these a lot, I guarantee you. But I think they look great. They feel awesome. You can tell it's a really nice quality boot. I just couldn't have asked for much more. The one thing I wish it had a little bit taller shaft, 12 or 13 is what I prefer. But these are fairly narrow. They don't flare out real wide like an Ariat or something. So I'm not gonna have as big a problem with my pants falling down in the tops. I still would have rather had a 12 or 13 inch though. So yeah, they feel great, they look great. Let's go grade these things. All right, so here we go, let's grade these things. They definitely get the bonus point for the intoxicating leather smell. It hits you in the face when you open up the box. It's very strong and it tells you what kind of materials they're using. For exterior, I'm giving these a four. I think they look fantastic, but I feel like the stitch pattern could have been a little more intricate, a little fancier. And I wish that it had a 12 or 13 inch top. That's just personal preference. I have thin legs and the shorter tops, my pants tend to fall down in them. But again, that's personal preference. It's just something I look for when I'm purchasing new boots. For interior, I'm giving them a five. It is completely leather lined throughout. It feels great. It's got a hard leather insole. It's got a nice leather heel pad with a little bit of cushion in it. I just couldn't have asked for better construction on the interior. Now for comfort, I'm giving these a five. They went on nice, a little bit of a pop in my foot, but they went on easy. They come off easy. It's got the hard leather insole, which I prefer. I also like the taller walking heel. Gives a little more arch support under my feet. These feel great. For durability, I'm giving them a five. It's got a nice sturdy counter. It's got a steel shank. It's a Goodyear welt. It's gonna be able to be resold over and over and over again. You can't ask for more when it comes to durability of a cowboy boot. And for price, I'm gonna give them a four. These come in between $650 and $750, depending on the retailer. I do feel like that's a fair price for a boot of this quality, given that it's full quill ostrich. However, you can find full quill ostrich a little bit cheaper than this from other manufacturers. May not be as good of a quality, but if you're looking for full quill ostrich and you want to spend a little less, you can definitely do that. So that brings us to a grand total of 24 points out of 26. This ranks very highly. I love this boot. There's not a whole lot I would change about it, but there are a couple of things. But in all in all, I love it. It's a fantastic boot. So that's what I have for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to all of you who are watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy.